Hey, hello, welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. And today's video is gonna be a little short, and we're gonna go and enable the CUDA drive and the Premiere Pro 2019. As you see, this is my Premiere Pro 2019. Adobe just uh, released a couple days ago. It's basically five days ago. And I'm really excited using this. I'm gonna be doing a lot of projects and After Effects, of course, motion graphics for Premiere. So make sure to check my page and download the free projects, of course. So I'm gonna show you, you know, how to enable the CUDA drive for default. Even if you have NVIDIA driver, it won't be, uh, be enabled. So we have to download the driver. Doesn't matter if you're using the Apple machine or the Hackintosh, as you know, a year ago, I built my Hackintosh and I'm using my Hackintosh have no problem. So I'm gonna just, uh, you know, show you how to enable. So I'm gonna open this project I have. So here's the project. I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, the CUDA drive is not installed. So I'm gonna go file, project, settings, general, and as you see, video rendering and playback, we got Mercury playback engine, GPU acceleration metal, which uh, enables for default from my graphic card. And as you see, we got two uh, more options, which is the GPU acceleration, OpenCL, and the software only. And I like, basically, if you can, if you can uh, enable the CUDA drive, you can use the GPU acceleration metal if you're using a, a powerful graphic card. As you see, we don't have the CUDA drive, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this and basically quit Premiere Pro. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open the, um, you know, NVIDIA page, as you see, here we got for Mac, and also I will leave the link for a PC if you have a PC, so make sure the version, and just download the latest version, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, make sure, uh, Download the latest version, which is a 9.19.2018. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in here, and we'll show up the download button. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna download because I already have. So let me go ahead in my folder, download folder. As you see, double click, and I'm gonna go and install the CUDA drive. So I'm just double click, and continue, continue, and you know, agree, continue, and I'm gonna go ahead and type the password, and just wait. As you see, complete successfully. It doesn't take uh, longer than a uh, minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna go ahead and open Premiere Pro again. And so here I'm back with Premiere Pro. And let me go ahead again to File, Project Settings, General, and you will see for default after you install will enable the GPU acceleration CUDA. And if you don't like, so you can just go ahead all of those um, options and as you know so my card is the EVGA GeForce GTX 1070 uh, Ti and you know it works fine for the NVIDIA drivers so that's why we decide to download this CUDA drive it's much easy and smooth to play on timeline even if it's not render it's nice to play you know and as you see and here we got actually this creating a and Premiere Pro actually it will be available to download of course so make sure to check that's the way to install you know the CUDA drive just download and install and make sure to check my blog so I will be uh, posting even if you don't see tutorials on YouTube so I'll be posting projects and YouTube so make sure to check out and you know and also make sure to subscribe my two YouTube channels English and Spanish and like this on Facebook and Twitter as well so make sure to keep in tune and see your next tutorial